TJ right here. Uh, it's obviously been a long time since we've seen you inside the octagons. I feel like we've been, during this whole time, we were asking, oh, who would you rather fight, Piotr or Aljamain? Now you know it's Aljamain. It's the week of the fight. What are the emotions now that this moment is finally here for you? I'm excited, man. It's the only way to put it. You know, excited to actually fight in front of a, a big crowd as well, too. Walk into a stadium full of people and uh, make that walk. I was going to say the last time we saw you was in the Apex. Before that, it was obviously on that Brooklyn card. It does the, the addition of fans, even though it is all the way out here in Abu Dhabi, how much of a factor does that play into this? I mean, it's why we do this. Man. It's like the, the fun of it all. Um, I love to perform. I love to be in front of the fans. I love to do it. And uh, that's why I fight the way I fight as well, too. I mean, I'm obviously an aggressive guy no matter what. But when you're doing it for, for the cheers and the oohs and the ahs, I mean, you do it even more, you know? And looking at your opponent, Al Jermaine, what have you made of his reign atop this the division since your last fight? I mean, is it a, is it a reign? <laughs> you know, I mean, I don't feel like uh, the way he even got the belt, you know, kind of sucks, right? For even for himself, I don't think he handled it very well. And then uh, the way he squeaked that win out too. I mean, it's pretty lackluster. And I'm sure you've heard the comments of him saying like he's made peace with it, the fact that you're probably souped up in there. So what do you what do you make of that when you're hearing all of this? I am souped up, dude. I mean, looking good. You know what I mean? Um, it's uh, just excuses because he knows I'm a, the guy that's going to be standing across from him is going to knock his ass out. And it's an easier way to swallow a pill of getting your ass whipped by supposedly someone that's on some sauce. And I don't know if you noticed, but he was tweeting a lot the other day, and a lot of people seem to have flipped sides. A lot of people seem to be pro Aljamain now. They seem to be pro TJ. Uh, have you? Did you notice any of that at all? I don't pay attention to that shit, man. I mean, I guess I probably should do a little bit more of the media stuff, but I, I'm not a social media guy for the most part. I do my fair share of posting to promote myself, but other than that, I don't. I don't like do a bunch of comments. I don't like get in these Twitter battles. It's just not me, you know. And finally, uh, Dana White did say the fight before yours between Sean O'Malley and Pierre Young would probably determine the number one contender for your fight. So how do you see that fight playing out? And is there one that you would like to face more than the other? Uh, no one in particular. I mean, they each have their benefits of fighting, right? Like, I'm, uh, I like Jan's fighting style. He's aggressive. He's mean. comes at you. Um, you know, and then you got O'Malley that's, you know, does a good job promoting the fight. I think he's done a very good job of, of what, what he's done, you know, with his career. Um, and I don't think people are, I think people are uh, underestimating his skill level as well, too, in this fight. I'm actually pretty interested in it. He's got great range. He's got good timing. He's got just good natural ability. I do think Jan wins, but I think it'll be a better fight. Than, and it's a three-round fight, and Jan starts slow. So maybe he'll change that, but we'll see. TJ, you mentioned not being done his, yeah. You mentioned not being super impressed with Aljamain's run as champion. Do you think he's the best bantamweight in the world outside of yourself, or do you think there are other guys in the division that if he matched up against them, he would come up short? It just depends on the night, man. I mean, he's great. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm, yeah, I've been impressed with it because he's not like, he's not a scary fighter. You don't have to go out there and be like, all right, man, I got to be on my toes. I don't want to be this guy's high real knockout, right? Like, I mean, I think his stand-up's been. You know, pretty lackluster. He's an arm puncher and set things. He looks scared on his feet, you know what I mean? Um, but he's a, a great athlete. He does what he does well. He's explosive. And uh, i got to put myself in those deep waters and practice and be ready for that kind of stuff. Do you think this is going to end up into uh, who can control the grappling more to, in, to determine the winner for this fight? Um, I think it's just going to come down to how well-rounded I am. He's not going to be able to do what he wants to do. Obviously, his comments, right? You know, he's saying what he's saying. And I'm sure that probably that's going to come up throughout the rest of your career. Is there any part of you that thinks, like, maybe I should just lean into this? Like, look at what Paulo Costa's doing with his secret juice. Do you ever <laughs> think that maybe you should get up there with some secret juice and just lean all the way into it? Yeah, I, I do have some secret juice. It's my clean juice. <laughs> it's the company that I started up in your Belinda, you know? Uh, I don't know, man. It's just... I feel like I've handled it the best way that I possibly could, and uh, whatever comes with it, comes with it, you know? Just, uh, I've been good. I've been doing a really good job of blocking out any kind of noise early in my career. Um, and I had to learn that through my career. You know, I think that Dominic Cruz fight really kind of taught me that I need to fight with uh, different emotions, help me through that alpha male debacle. And uh, I'm still here on top. You know, if I'm in this sport, I'm coming, coming for that belt, if not having it. That being said then, so when these guys say these sort of things to you, do you think they're trying to get under your skin and actually it's just kind of water off a duck's back? Absolutely. I mean, it's you know, mental warfare. It's, you know, we've all know that's part of the game, right? As well as maybe it builds himself up, it creates headlines, it sells a fight. I mean, you, know, you guys are doing it right now, right? So it's, it's why, it's why we're talking about it, it's selling a fight. Yeah. 
TJ, going off the back of that, uh, I know you saw Dana's comments that he made earlier this Who? week. Dana White, oh, okay. uh, he kind of praised you for how you handled, you know, he said mm. you handle it like a man, other mm. people haven't done in the same situation. To kind of read that, um, what, what do you make of that? Does that make you, you know, just reinforce that you did handle the fallout of everything the right way? I mean, I knew I did, man. I mean, it's the only way to kind of do it. It was like my own little therapy session, to be honest, right? Just kind of like let everything off my chest and get it behind me. Um, but yeah, I think I've gotten more ridiculed for it because I was so open with about it. But who gives a shit what anyone else thinks? Yeah. Um, you look at the bantamweight division right now. I mean, Aldo retired. Dominic Cruz just lost. Frankie Edgar is about to retire. These guys that you kind of came up with in the same era are all fizzling out a little bit. And you're about to fight for a title. Um, what does that say to you about your ability to stay on top when some of these other guys have struggled? No, I'm training the right way and that I'm the best in the weight class, right? Like I said, I'm, if I'm in this sport, I'll be fighting. I haven't fought anyone under, under the top five since 2014. You know, I'm, I'm up top. And I'm curious, uh, the UFC uh, released kind of a, a memo to managers and fighters this week about betting on mm -hmm. your guys' selves. So what do you just make of that? Um, is that something that, you know, you've ever dabbled with or does that affect you at all or teammates or family or anything? I've never gotten involved in the betting scene when it comes to MMA. It's very unpredictable, right? And uh, I've I, people ask me my betting advice and it's always fucking wrong, so I shouldn't do it anyways. <laughs> so fade, fade TJ, go opposite of your picks. Yeah, right, exactly. I mean, actually, I have some buddies that uh, they ask me their opinions like, oh, so I'm betting on the other guy, right? It's like, all right, whatever. Thank you. Yeah. TJ, right here. Um, you have the chance to become the UFC champion for the third time. Do you feel like the, the taking the bet for the three times makes you the greatest band weight in the UFC history? I already believe I'm the greatest band weight in history. You know, I mean, I'm holding all the records. Um, I'm going to continue to run my reign. But, yeah, I, I think it'll obviously cement that, but I already believe that, you know. I mean, name a guy that's got a better resume right now. TJ, just over here. Um, it wasn't very long ago when people were considering you as one of the best fighters in the whole UFC. I just said I am the best. <laughs> um, and it, because of the controversy recently, it seems like a lot of people have probably forgotten about that. But I just want to know what do you think, or what do you think you need to do on Saturday night to remind everyone how good you are again? And what do you think you need to do for the rest of your career to kind of get past that controversy a little bit and people kind of start to forget about that? And that you are one of the best in the world again. What do you think you need to do? You got to win, man, right? You just got to get out there and win and have some fun. But uh, ultimately, people just forget. People forget when you're not out there competing. I haven't competed very much in the last uh, three and a half years, right? Came back, blew my knee out in my last fight, so I haven't got to be very active. They forget about the dominance you had while you're in there, the records you were holding. I mean, <clears throat> with how inactive I've been and the, the records I'm still holding is quite crazy. You know what I mean? So I just got to con continue what I do. Thank you. Yeah. DJ, as you rightly said, uh, in the last fight you fought uh, against adversity and you went through the fight, you went through the five rounds and you were able to get your uh, get the victory. Do you think Aljo is made of that material if given the chance? Sorry, what was that? Uh, in the last fight you fought uh, against adversity and you were able to get that victory. Do you think Aljo is made of that material when it comes down to fighting against adversity in the octagon? Uh, made of that material of like what is the toughness of it yes. the grit no I don't I think he's got a quit button in him you know and I'm gonna find it um, I don't I'm like when I get out there I turn into the Terminator you know I, I, and I think my last fight really proved I don't think anyone really understands like what I had to go through in that fight let alone the pressure coming back off of suspension and what people are expecting to see in me and this and that and then I blow my knee out in the first round and you know, through a scramble, completely just annihilate it. I didn't even know how bad at the time. Um, and just happened to be able to bite down on my mouthpiece with one eye and one leg and, and get that victory. Yeah, a very hard fought, close fight, but it's because I was doing it on one leg. And for me to get a fight against Corey Sanhagen and get that victory on one leg, you know, I think says a lot about uh, what I'm willing to do and what I'm willing to push through. And I don't have a quit button. I ain't going to stop no matter what you throw in front of me. Um, I just keep my nose down and work my ass off and, uh, and be on top. Thanks, DJ. Yeah, of course. DJ right here. Uh, Peter Jan said he wanted to fight you when you come back to see. He said it like a few years ago. Mm -hmm. So what do you make of that comment? And uh, are you interested in fighting Peter Jan? Of course, man. I mean, he's gotten a lot of hype of how good he is as well, too. And I like his fighting style. I like how aggressive he is. I'd like to fight him as well, too. Right? So as long as he goes out there and gets that job done, it looks like we could be seeing that. Thank you. Yeah. Good, cool.